Hey there, it's Chris Kerr. I want to take your, your brain and twist it for a few minutes. I've got a, an idea here that I think you really need to know about in your business because it impacts every business that's on social media. I mean every business. If you're on social media, one of the things you have to know, especially Facebook is, is a fantastic example of it. If you're trying to collect all these followers, and it usually costs people money not to buy followers, but to get the social content, to get the graphics, to get the all the things that need to go in there, paid sharing, paid promotion, paid sponsorship, all the things to get stuff going, to get a large enough volume of followers that maybe your messages get heard, right? And then once you have that, you're gonna post and, and pay some more to get your post shared with your existing followers. The vast majority of businesses neither have the time, the energy, nor the money to really do that ever, let alone right now. And it's not their area of expertise. So if it's not their area of expertise, now let's just add more money to the, the fire here, throw up more money into that fireplace, because now you have to go hire a social media manager who's gonna do that for you. That, for them, is a pretty honest day's work, and it's a lot of work, and the results are not always so easy to quantify, right? If you're qualifying or quantifying it based on likes, shares, comments, that kind of stuff, it's very superficial. It, it doesn't give you any deep dive analytics as to how many people are buying, how many people are in your lead pipeline, and how many people are genuinely engaged in reading your, your, your content. You're not getting a lot of good, honest data out of it that helps you as a business manager who's not the social media expert figure out how this is working. So if you're spending all that money and you don't even know how it's working, that's that's recipe for disaster for business. Businesses don't do that. They don't. It, it's it's the, the dumbest thing ever. Not that you shouldn't hire a social media manager. Not that you should. Those are good steps, but you need to be able to measure it in a way to know that you're going somewhere forward, that you're not just spending money for nothing. It's more than just branding, right? You, you have to be more than that. So businesses are actively looking for a better answer. And we're talking about the mega corporations, the Coca-Colas, the Pepsis, the, the Procter's and Gambles, the Johnson and Johnsons. Um, every major brand is looking at doing something different. They just haven't cracked the code yet. I, I'm pretty sure I have. And I figured out how to do it in a way that businesses get to talk to customers at a pace and at a, a a subject matter that the customers are interested in, and if the customers aren't, then they don't have to hear the non-stop drivel of the businesses and their promotions as they go along. They get to opt out, or they get to opt in, based on being actually interested followers and clients. Those metrics are metrics that matter, and businesses want that kind of follower. So I've cracked that code, I, I know how to do that. And you don't abandon social media, but social media feeds that rather than the other way around. You're not there to, to feed social media as much as social media is there to feed you. Now, Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and whatnot, they're, they all still serve a function. I'm not saying abandon social media, don't. Stick with it because there's a, a value there. It's a different value. It's an evolving value. It's a value even Facebook hasn't figured out what it really serves, the purpose of. It thinks it's got a direction. It, 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 it doesn't understand what's coming next. Likewise, LinkedIn, way off the rails. It's, it's taking all of its Uber connectors and driving them away. And those that are right at the limit, like me, we're, we're kind of at that point of saying, if I'm not getting any engagement here, your data is interesting, but I don't know that it's worth that much to me. I've already done, been there and done, the, the LinkedIn bit. There's a value to it. There's a big value to it. How big a value to me now, personally, business-wise for my business? It's there, but it's not what LinkedIn thinks it is. Likewise, it's not what Microsoft thinks it is. Let, let me explain. If I've got 30,000 LinkedIn connections, and I do, but I'm only talking to, let's say, a thousand of them get to see one of my shares or posts. 
And it, that, that eh, who knows, sometimes it's 3,000, sometimes it's 50, right? Not 50,000, 50. You never know what you're going to get out of that. It, it's like a Forrest Gump moment. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. S same kind of thing, right? We're, we're talking about unreliable, undependable um, results from, from a lot of effort that may not end up anywhere. That is not a value you can really quantify. You can't say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to get that. You can say, I'm going to do this and this and this, and somewhere in there I'm going to get something. That much I'm sure of. What, I don't know, but I'm going to get something, and it's going to be a value, and it's probably more than I'm going to put into it, but there's a lot of ifs, ums, perhapses in there. I've got better ways. I've got more solid ways, more dependable, reliable, valuable ways. So when I'm talking about what's changing, when I can get 100,000 followers on a private mobile application, where I can talk to them every day or every week and I know whatever content I share is going to be seen by those who actually want it. Then I don't have to worry about whether my content's being seen on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or Reddit or StumbleUpon or Tumblr. I don't have to worry about that. I can post it out there. Those are all good SEO tools. There's lots of good value to it. There's lots of good reason to do it. I can reshare it out there. But I don't have to worry about whether my leads are coming from there or not. I already know where my leads are coming from. They're coming from my 100,000 avid followers who have downloaded my app and are engaging with me every day. And I know I can get 100,000 followers within 60 days. I don't have to work at it too, too hard. I advertise, I selectively pick pockets and areas where people who want to download do. And those who don't, don't. And I can guarantee I'll get 100,000 followers faster than I can get 30,000 in LinkedIn by a long shot, or even 100,000 on Facebook. Much faster than I can get on Facebook. And unlike Facebook, that, that would pretty much have to be paid followers, right? Um, I'm not paying these people anything to come join. <coughs> I'm going to third parties, promoting my app, making sure it's going to places where people will see it, who like what I have to say, and are gonna go sign up for it. I can make sure that that happens every time. Every time. So if I got 100,000 followers tomorrow, or in the next 60 days, and I know they're gonna see my content, what's that worth compared to, I'm already spending thousands of dollars a year promoting content on all these other platforms and I don't even know if people are seeing it. That, that there's no real net engagement short of likes, comments, and shares and that's not necessarily there to produce results. That's just sharing content. It's superficial. It's not people buying Coca-Cola or Pepsi or pick the product of your choice. It's people liking the post of such and such a celebrity, such and such a uh, motivational speaker, such and such a thinker. They like the post. That's got nothing to do with my products. It does tangentially, but it's, it's often a tangent. It's not, it's not direct meat. So when I talk about whether or not your business is going to be better served by putting, let's say, $2,500 in Facebook advertising or $2,500 into building your own app and having, let's say, 50,000 followers put in in the next 60 days. Which do you think is going to produce much better results? Just on your own. It, you don't have to take my word for it. If you can get 50,000 followers on one compared to whatever you have right now on social media, and you can talk to the 50,000 people whenever you want, and you know they're going to see it, versus the rest of them that uh, they may or may not. And these guys can share it with their entire social platform anytime they want. And these guys, if they didn't see it, they don't get to share anything. You tell me where your 2500 bucks is better spent. 
it's not rocket science. Businesses are moving to those areas where they can control the results much better than they can on social networks. Now, social networks will serve a different purpose. Social networks will be different kinds of communication platforms. Public generated distribution platforms, not private members or not direct members. Social media becomes the global social, not the near social. And so new, whole new ways of seeing things. If I'm promoting to the global community, then that's what I'm doing. Because realistically, and Facebook is, is a great easy example for this. I can pay to talk to my existing followers, or I can pay to talk to complete strangers. But I, I'm going to pay either way. So why not talk to complete strangers? Because I already have a tool that will let me talk to my near circle my inner circle, the, the people who are already real followers. I don't have to do a share and like campaign on, on Facebook because honestly, it doesn't do anything. It's superficial. But I can do a share and like campaign inside my, in my own network and I know everybody in it is already engaged. They're already followers. Because if they're not, they delete the app and I know right away whether my message is working or not. I can change my message, improve my follower retention, and make sure my follower base grows because the content I'm providing is the content they're looking for. In Facebook, yeah, that works a little bit, but most of them aren't seeing it anyway, unless you're spending money to make them see it. That's, that's, that's a rough way to go for businesses. So you've got to ask yourself how you want your business to grow. Do you want dependable results? Or do you want results that can be fantastic and viral, but are not reliable? That's, that's the choice you've got to look at and you've got to figure out over the next little while. Because in the next three to five years, pretty much all the big businesses and brands are going to make that shift. They're all focused on delivering better and better improved results. And that's where those are definable and they're deliverable. That's my, my social media transformation minute, or 13 in this case. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch up with you real soon. If you want some help in making your shift to your own private platform and getting your thousands and thousands of um, downloads and followers and people that you can talk to that actually care about your business, as well as integrating it to a much more effective social media strategy, give me a call, 623-252-4489. 623-252-4489 or sales at reactive.com, R-E-Y-A-C-T-I-V-E.com. Cheers.